I'm tired of Earth. Do I really have to come back? Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. This is a question that old souls ask. And the more you've been on this planet, the more lives you've had on the planet, the more you would ask this question. I've had it. Dear Kryon, dear spirit, whatever the system is, if I have a choice, I've done my thing, this is it, I'm tired. Do I really have to come back? I'm going to answer that as fully as I can, and perhaps in a way that you didn't expect. Now, this has been part of the teaching that my partner has been giving for some time. I'm not really sure that I've given that answer to you specifically in a separate channel, and now you get it. The answer, do you have to come back? No. Of course not. You have full and complete choice, dear ones. This is the alliance, the coherence that you have with the Creator. When you get to the other side of the veil, there's no checkboard or, or system that you have to conform to. There's, there's nothing but a benevolent system of love that you understand very well, that you helped create, actually. You're not in the instant corporation structure of the Creator, with the hierarchy charts of who is who, and who's important, who's not, who's coming, who's going. All of that is man-made. When you get to the other side, you're in this soup of love, and you recognize the system that you helped set up with so many others. I'll give you another answer. Do I really have to come back? Really? Have to, do I? The answer is no, but you're going to want to. No, crying, I'm not. <laughs> As the human brain goes, you're not going to come back. And the reasoning, give me the reasoning why you don't want to come back. And you'll say, it's hard. I've been through it. I've slogged through it. This is a time of shift. I've seen it. I've gone through enough wars in my life. I don't have to, to come back and watch this all again. I will tell you why you're going to want to come back. First and foremost, the system of reincarnation has changed. And I have given this to you quite often. When you get back to this planet, you're not going to be in the same paradigm that you were the last time you arrived, which is the time you're in right now. Imagine with me, just for a moment, you come back, you're young again, that's attractive, but you don't have to make the same mistakes. Because within this new system, this 24th pair of, of of chromosomes in your, in your DNA, this mastery is starting to be unleashed right away. You know better than to step in the potholes of life that you did this time. Imagine coming back and not having to go through the same thing you did before, or this time, ever. Imagine being awakened and aware enough to dodge around things that you just walked into this time. Imagine having a knowingness and an intuition that tells you when people are right for you or not, or if they're telling the truth or not, or whether situations that attract you really are for you or for not, or not. Imagine being that kind of a, a discerning youngster. Yes, even before you're you're of the age of the 13 or 14, where most religions say you're an adult. Imagine coming in, even at six or seven years old, and having a touch of wisdom, so even your playmates, you'll discern and say, yes, no, I want to be with this one, this one not so much. And not have to experience hard times as your lesson. Your lessons have been learned. And 
Now you arrive ready to implement a lifetime that comes in with learned lessons. <clears throat> How does that feel? If that's the case, Cryon, you might say, I might reconsider coming back. After all, now I would come back with control of my life, young again, being able to do things I never was able to do because I stepped in the potholes and didn't realize they were even there. Let me tell you something else, that when you come back, you'll have better choices, even of parents. Some of you don't like the ones that you came in with, but you chose them, and you chose them for lessons, not necessarily for you, but for them. Imagine a situation where your parents will be old souls. This is all part of a new scenario that I told you would be necessary for this planet to start raising its consciousness in a much faster way than it ever has before. So the system changes, you change, the choices change. The result is more light. How would you like to come back to a planet that's not going to go into war again? How would you like to come back to a planet where you, start, you suddenly you have leadership wherever you live and listening to this, where your choices of government are much better? And you start realizing, look, there are some compassionate ones who are running for office. I like that, you might say. It's all part of this new scenario. You see, they're involved as well. Imagine coming back and seeing the systems that were always dysfunctional to you start to have old souls in charge of them. Imagine coming back and finding your government for some odd and strange reason, has developed a department of compassion <laughs> where they deal with things like poverty and homeless or border issues or whatever are the things that are so dysfunctional at the moment. And they're there and you see that and you go, my, this is very different. You know what this is part of? It's part of a new scenario of light on the planet. How do we describe this for you that we have not described before? The circle of 12 that all of you participate in in this very program takes you to your soul energy. That circle of 12, I told my partner to develop it so that you would have a better idea of who you were. That's the entire reason. It's not that you will enjoy angels that you meet, that you will feel enabled and understand that that which is you on this planet carries a far bigger fingerprint, imprint, footprint, if you wish, than you ever thought it did. Imagine coming back and not having to deal with the programming that you receive from so many institutions that tell you who you are in the framework of God. How many of you were told you were born dirty and you don't have a chance and you shouldn't even talk to God because you're not worthy? My partner raises his hand. That kept him from looking at the new age or the, the potentials of a bigger truth, you might say, or any esoterics or any metaphysics. It kept him away from that for 45 years. Because the programming also told him not to look. Some of the program told him that anything that was not taught in the Holy Scriptures was of the devil. Don't look because you'll be tricked. And he didn't until he discovered the love of spirit because he allowed it and asked for it and wondered about it. And yes, we made him look. But when he did, he saw 
beyond the veil that there was a grander, bigger, more benevolent, more loving truth than he was ever told. Pure love, not a judging love, not a love that torments those who do something wrong. Pure love for all. And the idea that made in his image really had meaning, made in the image of the creator. In other words, God inside. Imagine coming back with that knowledge. No programming of the subconscious, the ability, and knowing you can do anything. You are enabled. And a set of parents that would agree and that say, yes, indeed, we support you, and you are able to do anything. Let's help you do those things. Is this a fairy tale? <laughs> No, it's a new system of light. This is the future of humanity. And it goes a lot slower than you would like. Imagine it's going to take generations to populate this planet with more compassion. It's going to take generations for those who want to go into darkness to realize it doesn't benefit them anymore. It's going to take generations for those to realize that the old methods of control and wealth don't work. They simply don't work. And that new methods do, and they work great. Methods of caring and compassion and helping those around you and making things work if you're a leader for those who trust you to lead. This is the new earth. Generations it will take. But in the scheme of things, generations, that's no time at all. None. To spirit, it's nothing. To you, when you're on the other side of the veil, it's nothing. You look at lifetimes like you look at day and night. You look at all the lifetimes you've been in and all that you've learned as dreams you've had and things that you've learned, something that has happened very, very quickly. All of you understand this. For the seniors that I talk to right now, look back and say, I woke up one day, and this is how old I was. There's no chronometer in the brain that tells you how long you've lived and tells you that you're on one age or another. You're simply you. Dear ones, this is how we see history. And how we see the future. There is light ahead. Do you have to come back? No. But you will. And so it is. If you enjoyed this channeling, you might also enjoy the weekly program It Came From. Wednesdays with Cryon. Heartfelt 90-minute program with more of what you've just experienced. Why not join us?